Square Enix just announced their new AAA IP called Project Othea, and it looks absolutely stunning. Now, Project Othea is going to be handled by Luminous Productions, which is a subsidiary of Square Enix. They use the Luminous Studio game engine, developed by Square Enix themselves, and to really understand Luminous Studio, we've got to go eight years into the past, into their tech demo that they've made in 2012 called Agni's Philosophy. Now, this tech demo itself was very impressive. It showcased dynamic lighting effects and very impressive CGI capabilities, significantly higher quality textures. It was really exceptional. You fast forward eight years and we're looking at Project Athea, or at the very least, it's a spiritual successor of Agni's philosophy. So, for instance, if we just look at the lead character herself, there's various similarities, right? You can clearly see that the mantle or cloak that she's wearing is decently similar, right? She's the dark hair holding her hand up here to be able to use magic. You've got these wolves that have similar spiky, spiny-like bodies. There's just a few similarities. I mean, even the world, the general world presentation that it has, it's a little bit of a callback to Agni's philosophy in this dystopian yet grandiose type of world. Now, what I find is really interesting is that there's been a lot of rumors that have been floating around concerning Final Fantasy 16. And the rumors that have been going around are more or less speculating that Naoki Yoshida, which is the director of Final Fantasy 14, could very likely be playing an integral part in the development of Final Fantasy 16. In April of 2019, Yoshida-san took the role as general manager for Square Enix's third development division. At this time, the division was working on a new title described as large scale for the next generation. Later on, in early November 2019, new concept art was revealed for this title, as well as a recruitment announcement to begin development. Now, the concept art alone has a very fantasy atmosphere to it. A small dragon coupled with a towering castle. It's a perfect picture setting for the next Final Fantasy. However, there's one big issue, and that's the fact that he's literally gone on record, specifically stating that he's not working on Final Fantasy 16. And not only that, but he's actually expressed quite a bit of distaste towards the rumors, saying that it's annoying and calling it fake news. This concept art, it's not for Final Fantasy 16. It's for Project Othea. And this becomes evident when you look at the final scene of Agni's philosophy. If you look picture side by side, other than a few minute nuances, it's pretty much the same picture. Again, concept art is the name here, right? It's a concept. It's almost exactly the same. Dragon and all. So, it may not be outright said, but it's really looking as if Naoki Yoshida is directing Project Athia. What's more is that he's been quoted to say he'd really like to see a Final Fantasy that encompasses more of a straightforward fantasy, one with less technology and less machinery. In a 2016 Famitsu interview, he said that seeing non-Japanese games like God of War and Horizon Zero Dawn at E3, he felt frustrated that Square Enix didn't have similar games to show in this way. And furthermore, he even claimed that he would definitely be making a similar AAA title within the next three to five years. 
or else people might not believe in him or Square Enix for that matter anymore. And that's what I think that Project Athea is really shaping up to be. It's the title that not only he's wanted to create, but it's going to have more depth to it. When I think of games like Horizon Zero Dawn or God of War in this manner, there's more of realness, I guess you could say. The world is not always so black and white, right? It's not going to be your typical Final Fantasy, let's save the world type thing. There's going to be a lot of gray, and it's going to look a little bit more dark. I hate saying that, because dark does not always mean better. But I think that it's going to be more mature. I mean, quite obviously, just by even seeing the world here in Project Althea, you can tell that it's standing out from Final Fantasy, at least in my opinion. I'd love to hear what you guys think about it. I'm pretty excited for Project Athia. I'm really interested to see where it goes.